All right, here is a very inexpensive but extremely accurate and well-made rifle choice. This is a new purchase of mine. This is the Howa Model 1500, chambered in 308. This particular model, the whole setup you see here is sub $500. Just under $500 got me this complete setup. This rifle is made in Japan. It's very well made. The craftsmanship is astonishing for this class of rifle and for this price. The stock is from Hogue. It's a Hogue rubberized stock. Very nice stock. Extremely good feel. Good design, in my opinion. The barrel is a standard sporter weight barrel. It's not a heavy barrel, but it's still very accurate. The scope I have here, I went with a very utility, inexpensive scope. This is a Nico Sterling 3.5 to 10 by 44, and this does feature an illuminated reticle. The reticle is a BDC style setup, which I'll show in a different video. Uh, you can see the rings. The rings are Nico Sterling also, and the bases are Weaver. Now, this rifle, for just under $500, I don't think you're going to get any better. And one of my goals with this rifle is once I get her sighted in and I play around with the ammo choices, I'm going to possibly shoot uh, some different types of factory ammo through this to see which one it likes the best. And my goal is I want to see how well this rifle will do at 1,000 yards. Typically, how a rifles will group right at one MOA. And a lot of times you hear reviews of grouping sub MOA, and I'm talking factory ammo. Now, if you hand load, it's no problem getting this Howa to group sub MOA. Now, there's some reviews out there that speak otherwise, but 90% of the reviews show this rifle is a very accurate rifle. Of course, you know, QC is never perfect at a company. Even though this is Japanese made and has very good quality control standards, Sometimes a lemon will slip through. I don't know how this particular rifle shoots, so I hope to get out there, sight it in, shoot it myself, and see how well this thing will do. But, uh, you know, sometimes you're going to get a rifle that's just not going to group that well. Uh, sometimes you get reviews from people that say, well, this rifle groups crap, but it's not really the rifle's fault. It's the person's fault. The person just doesn't know how to shoot. So I can't wait to get this out and test it out, see how well it'll group. Uh, we'll see how well it'll hold up against the Savage Axis that I've shot. You've already seen that Savage Axis put in some very impressive groupings, so we'll see how this one does. 308 is an excellent caliber. It's a very accurate caliber, and from what I've seen with a lot of the reviews when paired with the Howa 1500, you get some really good accuracy that competes with the $1,000 rifles out there, even at ranges upwards of six, 800 yards, 1,000 yards. So it'll be interesting to get out there and try it out. This rig is very solid, and one thing I'd like to speak to that I am very impressed with on this rifle is that trigger. When I got this rifle off the rack, I was looking at it and I said, you know, this is kind of an interesting rifle. I like how it looks. It felt, you know, good on the shoulder. Not a, not a bad weight. All that good stuff. It felt very balanced. When I got permission to dry fire it, I squeezed the trigger one time and I was sold. This trigger is better than a lot of the Remington 700 triggers I've seen out there. It's better than a lot of the Precision AR triggers I've seen out there. This is an awesome trigger. I'm talking probably about like a three pound pull with no takeoff. Let's see if I can try and demonstrate here. And oh, by the way, dry firing ain't gonna hurt this rifle. So maybe I can show somehow Let's see if I can zoom in and show what I'll do is I'll just put I'll just put my pinky up on this trigger and you'll see you can see the trigger just went off the sear broke and there's almost no movement to that trigger that is an excellent trigger and that's going to be one of the things uh, that you look for in a good quality accurate rifle now, the Savage trigger I had on the Savage Axis, a little bit of a bear to work with. It was hard to get those real tight groupings. If you got a good trigger on a rifle, it becomes extremely easy to get good tight groupings as long as the rifle itself, because it's not just the trigger, it's the trigger, the action, and the barrel, 
everything's got to be well made and if it's well made and flows well together you've got an extremely accurate rifle so far I'm very impressed with the Howa brand so I'm going to take this out try it out of course I'll be making videos of it uh, I don't know exactly when because I got other videos to do I still got videos to make on the fighting AR uh, or excuse me the fighting M4 series the fighting AK series uh, so I got to worry about that but I plan on getting this out and shooting it and I plan on taking this long range uh, the 308 getting it out to a thousand round a uh, thousand yards is a little bit tricky but I want to see how good I can do with this simple sub $500 rifle setup. I may hit the target, I may not. Who knows, we'll see. But I think this rifle is capable of doing it, just from what I've seen so far. So alright, well thanks a lot for watching. And any of you guys that have the Howa 1500 series, go ahead and put up uh, comments and video reviews if you got them, good or bad, because not everything's perfect. So feel free to put them up, and I'll accept them. Thanks a lot for watching, and stay safe.